This week, there was quite a bit of activity. Even though Tesla didn't post any numbers, most of the other ones did. There were 243 new stalls added in the past week, bringing the total count to 49,213, headed towards the goal of 180,000 according to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory's 2023 study. Racetrack added one, 7-Eleven added one, Circle K added two, Pilot Flying J added one, ChargePoint added 40, but once again, it's important to note that ChargePoint lists each dispenser as a stall. Uh, so that 40 is actually 40 stalls, but anyway. EVgo added one, and the Rivian Adventure Network added two. Let's go ahead and get into the data. The first one is Racetrack. And the one they added is Garland, Texas, but it's not showing up with an open date here in the database. But I know because if you go into the app and you set the filter for EV charging, uh, there used to only be one. Uh, the one was in Oxford, Alabama, but now that's showing the second one. And it is, according to PlugShare, an energized unit. So that one is now open and available. And I'll just track to see when it shows up in the database. But all these ones in Texas are very close to opening. And uh, that one did open this past week. Next one is 7-Eleven. They opened a station in Abbots Ford, British Columbia, bringing their count to 32. The next one is Circle K. They opened two stations. One in Troy, Illinois, and another one in British Columbia, like 7-Eleven, uh, Kitimat, uh, British Columbia. The next one is Pilot Flying J. They opened one new station in Dade City, Florida, bringing the count to 34. Let's see. The next one is Charge Point. Still nothing from Electrify America, and considering the turmoil at Tesla, it's not surprising that they didn't post anything. They likely opened stalls, they just didn't post it into uh, the database okay so the next one is charge point opening 40 stations or 40 stalls if you look here last week we had a loves open up in the charge point network and according to youtuber leonard 65yt they are uh, intending to use charge point for their Nevi build. And two weeks in a row, we've got Loves putting in charge point equipment. The second one is in Salinas, California, and there are four charge points getting installed. Now these are CPE 250s, which are not Nevi compliant. At least I don't think so. Even with them being linked together, I don't think that's considered a Nevi compliant port, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I thought you had to have charge point express plus uh, units in order to be Nevi compliant, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Regardless, Loves has a second build in as many weeks. So if nothing else, that's encouraging. It looks like they're starting to get their um, team together in order to get this DC fast charger implementation going because they do have many Nevi awards. Okay. one is EVgo. One station, San Antonio, Texas, at a target. Six stalls. Next one is the Rivian Adventure Network. They open two stations, and as is common for the Rivian Adventure Network, they do so in rather remote areas. One in Fireborough, Fireborrow, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, California, and another one in Wichita, Kansas. Thanks for watching.